and that's why here from the cart and back to a new Phineas and Ferb episode of you. And if you enjoyed this one, go and check it out. And this is another good episode. And it starts with the Flynn Fletcher family going on this trip with on this boat. And Kenneth kind of wanted to be back before this mm-hmm. thing that Jeremy is having. And yeah, Isabella's coming along too. And Belzee is having to watch over Perry. And we get a joke where Buford almost is about to hit Perry with a baseball bat. Because obviously Perry doesn't do much because he's a platypus. And Buford is saying, what if we give him some motivation? And waves, or grab, boat lifts the baseball bat about to, like and he's going to hit him. And... Yeah, they, we see Phineas and Isabella on the boat and seeing these different clouds come. And apparently it is a storm warning one. And Monogram is wondering what's going on with Perry, which they have to send Carl to distract Belgie and Buford to get Perry to do his mission. And yeah, the boat is all crashed up. And Candace just doesn't want to be on this island forever. And she's like, then I have to marry monkey and have monkey children. And and the da- their dad says, and we'll love them anyway. And yeah, they distract Buford and Balzi and get Perry. And yeah, he gets to where Doofenshmirtz is. And he explains, remember the whole big laundry? He explains the whole big laundry thing. And yeah, we see what he's going to do with all the whole different laundry departments. And, yeah, kind of crazy. And and we see how he's controlling these monkeys with his helmet. And Candace is getting coconuts. And she gets kissed by a monkey. And yelling at Phineas and Ferb. And, yeah, I gotta admit, that treehouse is awesome. Which, yeah, having these different rooms. Even a monkey taking a shower. And she goes through the emergency exit, which, of course, isn't quite built. And Phineas and Ferb. Perry and Doofin Smurts fight and he ends up into the giant laundry or dry washer and yeah they're having to escape which yeah they end up escaping and the boat is all finished and they get to head home and yeah that is a poor replica thing for, of uh, Perry which yeah Perry ends up coming and yeah he's not very pleased with that whole thing that Bell's 8 made. But yeah, a really good episode. Like to know what y'all think. Catch you next one.